Alright. Moon up. Okay, so we're back at Hero U. Um, to be honest, the last thing we did was defeat. We we stopped. We figured out that the he's not a meep, whatever he's called, was stealing apples and stuff, and got him to give it back. And now we're trying to find a way into the sea caves, I believe. Um. How are we looking? We got... We're real beat up. Um. So I'm gonna go get a good night's sleep. Luna. Please. <laughs> She's nuzzling the mic. No. We got a new brush and everything. And you just can't help yourself. Um. He's out here somewhere, I know he is. He's blind, though. Gotta follow his footsteps. Um, I honestly have no idea how to get into the sea caves. I bet it's probably the secret passage behind the panel with the... I can't remember what the words say. They say, like, right to live or something on them. But I don't know the code to open it yet. Alright. So let's check if a alias is open. Okay, my class is going off to see an opera. I'll be up early tomorrow. What's new? Feeling better today? It still hurts to think about my love for Moira. But I'll get over it. What's the field trip about? We're gonna see the great Kata, Quest for Glory 2, uh, Bardic Opera Singer Mary and his ratty jester Mouse. We'll be taking a boat up to Sasari to go to the opera house there. It's one of the mace for Lorenzo's former apprentices. So you intend on having a merry time of it? I must, I must admit that it would be a catastrophe to just miss this trip. It make me so sorry. This show will be catatonic in my sorrow. Have a good trip. I'm gonna take a bath before I go to sleep. I hope I'm not forgetting about something that's supposed to happen today. Or tomorrow. This room? How do you find- oh, how do you find your way down to the sea caves? I knew there was a concealed passageway, that's how my father and the others escaped. And also, let me move myself up here so you can see her picture. There's a concealed passageway, that's how my father and others escaped from the sea cave so many years ago through this castle. That's why I signed up for the school, to get into the castle and find the entrance to the sea caves. I want to know how you found the passageway. Kira had been sneaking out of the school at night to get things for his black market, so I followed him. Let me do a secret door in the Hall of Heroes. There's a hidden hallway behind the secret door with an other concealed door that has stairs going down to the sea caves. Dangerous down there. I can handle it myself. Okay. So, I, it, it's where I think it is. I just don't know how to get in there. Okay. Take a bath. Maybe I can still, uh, buy the sea cave path off of Kiro. Every time. The lights are on a timer, and it, even when I have turned the lights on myself for streaming, it automatically changes them to the one I don't want. Alright. 11.15, time for bed. Open the door. And bedtime. As I was saying, 
Today's lesson will be on the way of Die Spinne, or for those of you who are less civilized and improperly educated, the way of the spider. Spiders are the ultimate trap setters. Spiders hide from sight until their prey gets snagged on the sticky webs. Then they leap out to capture and subdue their prey with poison. Spiders aren't the only creatures that use a combination of traps and poison. In our last discussion of traps, we talked about setting them in this discussion we were talking about disarming them. The way most likely to catch the unwary rogue or thief is the treasure chest. The most common trap upon chests is the poison needle that pricks the hand that tried to unlock the chest without the proper key. To disarm such a trap, you would need a trap trapper. I believe I instructed you all to obtain one. I have mine now. The rest of you get it? If we give you instructions on how to disarm such needle traps, I will warn you it is wise to carry a bottle of poison antidote in case you fail. Poison does progressive damage, a healing potion will not undo the effects. The first element of disarming traps is to find and determine the nature of the trap. This is where your skill and perception will be useful. Examine a lot carefully before you attempt to open it. Once you discover a trap, use your trap tapper to disable it. If you do not have the tools or the skill, you'd better have the poison antidote with you. Any questions? This is a way to be prepared and observant so the spider doesn't bite you. Essentially, yes. Don't be unprepared for unpleasant results when you are dealing with the unknown. Bring out your trap trapper will go over the basics. From now on, the locks on the lockers will have traps on them and they will give you the opportunity to test how well you learned this lesson. Do I have a trap trapper? Um. Doesn't look like it. It will be midterm break. I'll go off on my investigations. You might want to pick up a few incidental items. What do you got? Cost 80. Big boom. Alright, so the trap trap is what I really want. What kind of investigations are you doing? I'm on the quest. I'm searching for a particular statue of a raven said to be hidden somewhere in Sardonia. Why are you questing for a bird statue? My late father, may he rest in peace, spent his life searching for such a statue. Alas, he searched in vain. Finding it would make my father proud if I were to recover it in his name, of course. What makes this bird statue so valuable? It has little monetary value, it's purely sentimental. If you should happen to come across a thing in your explorations, I'd be more than happy to compensate you greatly. You worried about passing the midterm? It's trivial, saying the words the master wants to hear. Odds and ends. The boom trap. Midterm. What's this about midterm break? We have three days off to do what we like. We have to face the midterm exam. I'm certain the master will test us thoroughly. Found anything recently? I heard the rumor that years ago there was a raven statue in Sardonia that united all the thieves of the island under one guild. Unfortunately, that statue has not been seen for 20 years. You look dapper today. Okay. Do I have class at three? Um, and am I wearing my uniform? School uniform pants. Because, what's his name will yell at me. Connor. All oh, right, he was like, what the heck does he want me to do? No, oh, he wants me to incriminate Gerhard. Hard pass, my dude. But I would like, oh no, I don't want to go in here. I wanted to be healed, hopefully. She's like, you look beat up. Thanks, Teach. Okay. Thanks. Oh, wait. What if I talk to you? Okay, she has nothing to say. She just liked that I stopped by to talk to her. 
And then I want to see how much the trap trapper costs. But I don't have it. And it's probably cheaper from my good friend Rata. Or Gregor. Gregor of the Ratha. Oh, I have enough. Okay, perfect. Then... Talk? Okay, I was like, maybe he'll tell me about the secret passage, but apparently he won't. Two magic class. Um, why did you make me stop running? I'll be late for class because of you, game. Um, yep, I knew it was time for class. This is the final class in basic magic for Mundane Selective. What a pleasure has been to have you in my class. You've taught me to never again- Yo, Glory, what up? Never again underestimate the intelligence and cleverness of Mundanes. I do hope you have enjoyed learning about magic. Some of you have learned less than others. In the next session of Magic for Mundanes, we shall delve deeper into the mysteries of magic and the mastery of magic. In addition to new rune spells, we shall dabble in alchemy and even craft a protective, protective amulet. I hope you choose to continue your studies. You'll be fine, magic users. Your mind after class and will be spent constructing one of the many rune stones you've learned during the course of this class. Are there any questions? Alchemy. What's alchemy? Is it like healing potions? There's a major distinction between potion making and alchemy. Hold on a sec. I need to check one thing. I feel like the lighting is off on my camera, but I think it's just because I'm streaming earlier and wearing white. <laughs> Healing and other potion making use the medical and magical properties of ingredients to have an effect. Um, one does not need to be a magic user to create a potion. Alchemy incorporates magical symbols and runes and the technique as well into the magical properties of various items to create a magic item or concoction. Only a true magic user can do alchemy. Let's make some magic, shall we? Dinner time. And I also need to get an apple. So I can give it to my my friend. Who will maybe eventually tell me the code to his secret layer. Why is a pirate called a pirate? That's just the way they are. I suppose pirates are just a big joke to you. Well, I know they are dangerous, dastardly, and desperate desperados who pillage, burn, and loot other ships, not necessarily in that order. Not all pirates are black-hearted villains you read about in stories. Some have families they care about, and they don't all say are. I'm sure you're right, Katie. I didn't mean to offend you. For now, I'll try to stick to telling jokes about things that are really funny, like Sosi. Everyone, get out of here. Stick around after the others are gone, I want to speak to you. You know that my father is captain of a sailing ship, don't you? Many years ago, my father and some of his crew sailed on a real pirate ship, the Royal Flush, under Captain Hoyle Bronson's command. One day, many years ago, they got a rich haul of, off a Hispanolia merchant ship. On the way back to Caligari, the ship was caught under a winter storm or was dashed against the rocks and broken in sea caves under the island. The survivors secured the treasures from the hold and found ways to make sure that no outsider could find it. Then some of the crew mutinied and the captain cursed them all with his dying breath. The dead pirates rose from the ground and attacked the living. The story's got everything. Pirates, sea ship, or sea wreck, zombies. His first mate, Black Jake, held the map up to the treasure. One night, another crew member, Hellmouth, tried to steal the map from Jake's sea chest. They fought. Hellmouth Mouth ran away with half the map and he was never seen again. Black Jack gave what was left of the map for me, I've got it in my backpack. I'll prove to my father I'm more just, just an innkeeper's daughter, I'm a sea captain's daughter too. What are you doing in here? Leave immediately. Don't say a word to anyone. 
Um, I mean, can you tell me how you're gonna get in the the sea captain the sea caves? Take an apple. Take it to my meat friend. So the sea caves are behind there. I just don't know how to get there. Oh, oh that's not how I do this. I gotta just click here. Leave an apple. Hello. Is it hot? <laughs> I mean, that red is probably very, uh, like, attractive to the sun. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, I also had called the cashier at the market and told me she liked my dress. And then also a lady who was pulling into the parking lot rolled down her window to say I look very pretty, so... Hell yeah. Even though I'm sweating so much right now, you can probably see it. Yeah, I mean, like, your hair is sticking to the back of your neck. <laughs> Alright. Sweaty girlfriend. Oh! I really have no idea. Keep life true. Like, I'm sure someone will eventually just tell me the answer to this puzzle, but it's really annoying me that I can't figure it out. Keep life true. Um... Per Lucen Tenabris Frangimus. Let me Google that. Maybe I have to know the Latin. Um. Per Luchum. In God we trust. Um, can I make a god or something out of here? There's no G. I really want it to be free. I don't know why. Alright. Um, I guess I should learn how to use the poison needle disarmor, but also maybe I can overhear the teachers again. They were talking about the sea caves before. No, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Sorry, what did you buy for a side? Potatoes. Potatoes. I'm streaming. Corey's in chat. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get into the sea caves. My dear Dr. Von Braun, have you made plans for the midterm break? It's coming quickly. Oh, I thought I'd put around the lab while school is out. I'm in the middle of my research on the origin of magic. I thought that you scientists dismissed magic as balderdash and nonsense. I believe that any sufficiently advanced magic is indistinguishable from technology. My colleagues may have dismissed my unified magical field theory, but I know that there is a direct connection between science and what narrow-minded fools dismiss as fantasy and delusion. I just want to know how to get into the goddamn sea caves game. And... But 
but we've also got to learn how to disarm these traps. I was like, can I check? The <laughs> they did say they were going to put a poison needle and stuff, so like, I can't check that lock though. But they he said the lockers. Locker one. Check locker for traps. A trap. Disarm the trap. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck is this? Yeah, but they didn't tell me anything about how to disarm these. Um... Yeah, I literally don't know what to do there. And poison doesn't get healed by uh, healing potions in this game. So I don't want to get poisoned. I wonder where Katie went. She was trying to tell me about her pirate dad. Um, maybe they're in like the student lounge. Isn't that right, Luna? Every goddamn time, I think that statue is, like, of a real person. Augustine Henry, botanist, passionate seed collector, because of his love of nature, he helped preserve and propagate many rare plants and seeds. Katie's in there talking about the sea caves. Okay. We could explore more of the sea caves rather than hang out here. Gogs taste like rotten fish and zombie pirates smell horrid. It's a good way to stay away from the sea caves. They're nasty places. I'll go down soon and uncover the secrets if it kills me. Be careful, death is not the worst thing that can happen to you there. Yeah, I know. Katie, where are you? You're looking smart today. Well, smarter at least. You're looking good too, but then again, you always look good. What do you think of the sea caves? How do you get there? Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to spoil your discovery. I'll give you your hint. You get to the sea cave through concealed doors. Your disbarred bard skill will come in handy. Can you, like, just help me out? God damn it. I'm surprised you aren't learning how to sail a ship like your father rather than seeing be a rogue. My father thinks that being on a ship is too rough and unpleasant for a woman. In a, in a way, I'm glad I was placed in this Bard Bards class. Maybe I can prove to my father I'm capable of being on a ship. Maybe he'd prefer that I be a sea captain rather than a rogue. Don't want to flirt with you because my love interest is the Romani girl. Have you been down to the sea caves? I have not. Would you be sad if the monsters got me? No, I would laugh because you were warned and didn't listen. And maybe a bit sad, don't get eaten. I'll do my best just because you asked sweetly. I take it you don't like exploring the sea caves. I'm not fond of the sea or caves. Sea water burns my nose so I can't smell anything. And nothing good lives in caves, as evidenced by Gollum. I'd like to talk to you about what we did with the giant approach. Not here. We should go to the courtyard to talk. I'm glad it's dead. Why was killing the approach so important to you? I wanted to do something that deserved to be at the school for heroes. I wanted to prove that I could be here a hero too, if only the Gregor. So are you a werewolf? Werewolf? Of course not. I am a rover. We shapeshift my pack and take the shape of wolves. What's the difference between a shapeshifter and a werewolf? 
Werewolves are cursed. They have a mind of crazed animals that want to only kill. Rovers, we are ourselves whatever shape we take. Can you become something other than a wolf? Only a very wise rover can take many shelves. I am only a wolf. I would have died if you hadn't attacked a giant approach. I owe you for that. You saved my life. I don't want you to die, Sean. You're very noble and brave. You belong here at the school because you're really a hero. Here we are alone together in the moonlight of the courtyard. Just the two of us. How can we be alone if we are together? It's romantic being with you here. You look so beautiful. Are you trying to court me? Uh, yes, sort of. You are sweet, Sean. You will not make a good husband for me right now. I will not court with you. Maybe I will let you kiss me a little every now and then. And maybe too, someday we will court each other, okay? Okay. I have successfully courted the Romani girl. I don't want to talk to Sosi, but Kira, will you help me out? You going somewhere for break? Research a good topic of interest. Show me this. I wonder if you'd be willing to show me more of the city's interesting sites. I'm not allowed to leave the castle until after the semester is over. Most unfortunate, perhaps another time. How long is it? Three days. Okay. I don't really want to play pool. Um, keep life true. Maybe the librarian will give me a hint. <laughs> okay. He doesn't care. I've already read everything in this book. What makes the book special? It was handwritten by Sir Sheraton Burgundy just before his mysterious disappearance. This is the original manuscript. The book is unique and invaluable. The book is of little interest to the outside world. Most of the history of the Knights of Luminar has been forgotten by all but a few scholars. Um. Yeah, yeah. Is there a ghost over here? Do not disturb the painting. Why not? I was just looking at it. It is not to be disturbed. The librarian's kind of hot. He's an asshole. Oh. All he does, does, does is change the fact that he's hot. All he says is like, "Don't talk." He straight up just says, don't touch the painting. I don't want to touch the painting. Don't disturb me. I came in here earlier um, and found this painting of a ghost dog. And then I went and stole his bone from this other room because he was like alive in school from before. And I gave him his painting and now he's a happy ghost dog. <laughs> Leo looks very happy. Can you think of a four-letter word that would make sense as a password for keep life true? Four letter? Yeah. Live? I don't know. It's gotta be out of the letters, keep life true. Oh, okay, so it's like a... Like... You have to spell it out of... Yeah, life like I'll show you. Yeah, like, I go in here, I know the sea caves are in here. Um... And then you walk up to this thing. And I just don't know what the passphrase is, and I haven't been able to figure it out. Look, I really wanted it to be free. And then this says, in God we trust in Latin. Um, I don't know. 
Oh, you almost ran over Gizmo. Oh, I'm sorry. She got scared. She just looked back at you like, how dare you? You're my little baby. I feel just a little more rapid about the school than I did a moment ago. Go team. And this like piece of floor looks like there was a carpet there. Book. The fabulously astounding and deeply touching life of the famous adventurer as told to himself, because who better? Being most unabridged, unexpurgated, and unbelievable, and with no detail held back of the numerous calamities I either single-handedly prevented or instigated, the hearts I conquered and probably shattered in the countless lives I lived in the thrall of the wild. How many and which ones Part do you want? Part one. Want? Sorry, what? How many and which ones do you want? I'll just go with two of the brat. Okay. Yeah. They didn't have the chorizo or the Korean barbecue, so I, just, I want it to be spicy. Yeah, but like, I don't know how spicy that must. I do, I'm used to that mustard. But, spice on spice. Thank the gods, that's over. The introduction is 120 pages and the whole book is a little over 1800. I don't know how he lived long enough to write this, let alone do all the things he said he's done. Of course, he could have just waited till he was dead and ghost written it. Well, I bet after Lights Out, I just noticed this is the monastery from Quest for Glory 4. Illuminari Castle. I think that's it. No, that one wasn't by water. But like, I could break out of- I could sneak into the library after Lights Out, and uh... Go talk to the ghost painting, maybe? There is that ghost underground, too. I, what do I need for... To be able to talk to ghosts? Tasks. Find a death head's mushroom. Find some dead man's hair. Well... The mushroom... Isn't there, like, a garden area? Um... I don't think there's any mushrooms up here, they're just plants. Flowering bush lamp. And then all the jokes of like plant hither, plant yawn, plant thither. Minyon's Longing Tower Garden. Something to do with some guy named Gota. Oh, the jokes. Yeah, I know the infirmary's closed for the night. I'm trying to break out so I don't get caught by the teacher. Um... Listen. Don't hear anything. I broke into the faculty lounge. There's a lot of tempting stuff in here. It's mostly junk. There's a couple bottles of very fine wine. Doesn't appear to be trapped. Still locked. I would like- I bet you, like, inside this is a freaking book that says, like, this is how you open the sea caves. But my lockpicking skill... Who will you? 
radius, where is it? It's 44, it's not low. Cabinet. A medicine cabinet? Healing potions. Not trapped. Sense magic. Pick the lock. Ah, I'm in. And close that. Okay, I got a free healing potion. There's a safe in here? A safe I'm very interested. Look for traps. Not trapped. Sense magic. Pick the safe. There's no way I can open this. Okay. Anything in the couch? No professor's wallets. Okay. Uh, about the fireplace. Equal of one in Ifetayaz dining room. This room is a lot smaller. It's nice and warm up here. Okay. So we know there's a safe I can break into. And... A, uh, a, uh, cabinet I haven't been able to open yet. Um, can I break in here? Sneak. Look behind. Look at bulletin board. Any student reaching 100 demerits will be expelled. So, any, if you look behind the bulletin board, you'll be expelled immediately. However, there's gotta be something behind there. Pretty solid. There's a locked iron bar keeping the doors closed. Lock? Unlock? Read the file folders. Oh damn, this is gonna be a lot of reading. It says that Aeolus tested very well on all forms of vocal and instrumental music performance. Also notes he shows a tendency to become distracted and go off on flights of fancy. Esme grew up in a rover caravan. She got excellent scores on physical training and fitness. It's concerned that she might not fit in with the other students in the civilized setting. How dare he? His idea of civilized is sort of like the delicate bouquet of stale cheap beer. Joel got high scores in the art of the con, low ones in other categories. He's not too impressed. He has no leadership skills nor any reason to believe he can make it to graduation, let alone become a hero. Katie is the daughter of a ship captain whose tuition was fully paid in cash. You know she's wasting her time at university. She should be using her obvious endowments to find a husband rather than wasting her time studying. I like to see Turk tell that to Katie's face. I don't think she'd leave enough of him to make a Turk stew. Sean O'Connor is a slacker, a loser, and a bum. If not for his sponsorship into the school, we would not have admitted him. He won't make it through the first semester. Sounds like me. I just wish the file said more about my sponsorship. So see. A student of promise, Celsius has advanced skills in stealth and combat, grew up in Sicilia, was sponsored in the Hero U by a prominent nobleman. Interesting, it seems Cesare has friends in high places. I wonder where he'd learn those skills. Thomas's skills clearly point to a career as a paladin, not as a rogue. The file indicates that Thomas lied in the background section of the exam, that's why he was assigned in the rogue class. That makes no sense, I can believe a paladin part, but Thomas doesn't seem like the type to cheat on the test.
People with small desks, they have small minds, and this is one of the smallest desks I've ever seen. Tarek's Book of Demerits? Sense Magic. Change the demerits. No! <laughs> Made me go to sleep. As I was saying, how to not get in the cotton other trap of is more than just using tools on chests to save. We're gonna go the other way of the spinna, one that deals with life and death nature of traps. Traps on chests are designed to kill those who un who try to wrongly unlock them. You will die from poison unless you take proper precautions. There are many situations you will face when your life is on the line. It will take more than a small trap to stop a dangerous planet. How do you stop a monster from getting to you? If I were facing the monster, I would probably put down some super gooey to slow the monster down and throw a flambe to block the path. And run away as fast as possible. Wise, it's foolish of you to risk facing a monster head-on. It's better to use stealth and observation to avoid direct confrontation. However, when stealth fails, then by all means use every available method to stay alive. I would set a series of mighty traps to damage and slow the monster while I threw flame and daggers to kill it. As long as you have sufficient equipment and room to maneuver, that approach should work. However, depending on the monster, few monsters are worth the effort or expenses of killing them. Sticky traps like gooey incendiaries like flambe and geek fire or powders like itching and sleeping can delay monsters enough for you to escape. If you are taking the science selective, you can make some of these trap devices. If you're taking magic, you can use rune stones. When you go into a dangerous situation, always be observant. Mark your path with chalk and you might get lost. See the dangers before they see you. Whenever possible, avoid combat should be your last resort. However, if you must fight, fight intelligently. Use traps to minimize danger. The damage to your enemies can do to you. Weaken them with throwing knives before they can reach you. You must go into danger. Be like the spider and trap your unwary prey. You don't want us practicing our traps and tricks in the practice area? I don't want to see the use of such traps here in the main parts of the university. It may well be that you never need such equipment. However, not all areas in the castle are safe. If you choose to explore the hidden areas, make sure you have are equipped to handle what you uncover. Tomorrow will be our exam. I trust that you are all capable of scoring well upon it. If not, then perhaps the time would better be spent outside the university. Connor, we need to talk right now. I want my map back. I trusted you. You know how important that map is. Give it back to me. Um, calm Katie down by being polite, deny everything while being snarky, say something clever to show you wanted to help. Okay, so you're telling me your map is missing and you think I'm to blame, is that why you're so angry with me? Of course I'm angry, you stole it, no one else but Esme knew. Katie, I know how much that map means to me, you have, to you, you have every reason to be angry, you're my friend, I certainly wouldn't want to hurt you by stealing your map. When did you notice the map was missing? A few minutes ago, when I was putting my notebook away in my pack in the classroom, the map was gone, but I put it there this morning. The map was stolen at breakfast or in class, is that it? I want it back. In the dining hall, you left your pack in the corner with everyone else's backpacks, right? So anyone could have taken the map from your pack during breakfast. No one else knew of the map but you and Esme. Trust me. Say something polite to remind Katie of your friendship. Say something clever to help Katie consider other suspects. Say something smart, snarky to convince Katie to look elsewhere. Um. Friendship. I thought you liked me. I don't like liars and thieves. Oh, then you do like me. We're friends. You can trust me. I didn't steal the map. We need to find the real thief. Don't worry, I'll help you get your map back. Besides, you probably have it memorized by now from all the studying you've done. Even without the map, you will find the treasure. Okay, maybe you didn't steal the map, but I'm still upset about it. I'll find that treasure with the map or without it. Any help you give me will be appreciated. We just had this, like, top secret conversation and freaking Joel's just standing right here. 
No. It seems as if Miss McMichael is rather upset about something. Did she perhaps mention to you the reason she's displeased? I'm not gonna tell you, Joel. Everything is going very fine. You're being sketchy. Got anything new for sale? Itching powder. Rumors. I happened to overhear Katie talking to you about the map yesterday in the dining hall, but I assure you I was unaware of it before then. She seems certainly more upset. I do hope she does not suspect that I did something like that. I would not like to face her wrath. You would like Katie. Yeah. She's the daughter of a pirate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What questions do you have a desire, the burning desire to ask me? So what I want to tell you is that Turk is trying to get me to blackmail you. Mr. Turk called me into his office the other day. He mentioned that I have a patron who wants me to spy on you. You know who this patron is? The guy who got me into this school, I'd never seen him before. He had a slouch hat and an eye patch with a scar down his face. I don't know why he sent me here, but I could not but it could be that he wanted to get at you. Interesting theory, I'll keep the warning in mind. A lot of things we learn in this class aren't about being a hero. Why are you teaching that here? It takes more than attitude or empathy to become a hero. It takes skills and the training to use the skills. If I did not teach this class, neither you nor any of your classmates would be at this university. You're all capable of being heroes. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, what about the practice room? You guys got... Anything going on in here? Nope. Also, did the quirk, or quip, whatever the heck his name is, eat the apple I left him? I think that I don't have magic class today because she said that was like the last class of the first semester. Literally the most annoying man on earth. Did the map just like fall out of her backpack maybe? Take an apple for my friend. They said they put the backpacks in the corner. Oh god. If you gave her a little pat, she didn't like it. How are things going? They're going as usual. See you later. I only wanted to sit with my back to that fire, I'd be char grilled. There's not much going on except logs and irons and searing heat. Logs and irons, that's ironic and logical. Like, I was wondering if she just left her backpack, like it fell out of her backpack. But apparently not. Is she like in here confronting everybody now? Apparently not. No one's in there. Um. Culinary arts. Q. 
keep life true. Um. Geography and poli sci. I mean, I guess I could keep getting my block picking skill up. Look at the statue. Tanuki. Among the most recognizable and ribald images in neon folk art, Tanuki is a rattan jolly little bear like animal wearing a large straw hat and carrying a bottle of sake. I'm about to cast a flame spell. Um. Why is the old oh there is a dog statue? I was I was curious because I was like I'm just sitting over there like keep life true like what the fuck does that even mean, right? Yeah. Um. And it says for a hit check the fireplace, but I think you already did that. Yeah, per Lucian Empress. Whatever. The solution isn't a word. It's not a word? I think you made it worse for me. <laughs> It's not a word. Um... Keep life true. Like, to me, it just means like, oh, life is the word, because if life is true, then it's life. But that's obviously not right. Like, the site that I looked at doesn't tell you why the answer is the answer, but if you look at the Oh, is it the is it the first letter of every P L T F? Yep. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's it's right there. Unless like that, those Latin words say "keep life true" in Latin, so then you're just doing the letters. No, those that phrase means in God we trust. Oh. So now I'm in a whoa, this place sends shivers up my back. It's cold, it's creepy, and I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Um I thought I had, like, a glowy thing I could use. I can vaguely see what might be a monster. Okay, so I need to steal a light. Okay, so I sense magic. There's something in the pile. A ring. It's creepy, green, scary sort of magical ring. Doesn't seem to be dangerous, though. The scaring. Can 
Can I just take a candle? Nope. Um... Dang it. <laughs> 30 demerits. Um, okay. Is anyone here? Is there a place I can get a candle for free? Um, there was something I could steal a light source from, I think. Sconce? Permanently mounted to the wall. Um... Reading table. Can I buy, like, a lamp from Gregor? I swear I had something. Ghost dust. Spark runestone. Glow- oh, I do. Glow for it runestone. Okay, it was just on a different page. There is only like a half hour until dinner though. And... Go in there. And... Open the passage. Use. Yeah. Um, gate okay, shelves. I thought this rune stone was supposed to let me see in the dark. Okay, how the heck do I make it cast Glow? Um... Statue? Like, I... Half of a runestone called a freaking glow runestone, and I can't see it. Oh, there's a lantern over here. Well, a candle. It's definitely magical. The blue flame isn't really burning, and the candle isn't just wax. It feels very old, like from the time the castle was built. That's odd. It also... I also sense this magical candle wasn't made to light things up. There's more to this than meets the eye or my sense magic skill. It's a solid blue flame that doesn't give off heat. I've got a magic candle. Solid. Hmm. Alright, so now we've got... Whatever the heck is going on at this portrait. Portrait of Chen's son. A one-on-one -on -one fight with a cheetor with some kind of pole arm. That's not fair. The cat critter looks like it will shred poor Chen alive. 
An Adventurer's Guild exchanged students to the Valley of Spielberg. Chen Sun spent a significant portion of his youth dedicated to defending the local monster population, especially the ones carrying coins. Renowned for his nocturnal forays, uh, it was not uncommon for incredulous early rising student residents of Spielberg to see him struggling back from the forest just before dawn, overladen with loot and valuable cheater claws. Chen also spent time in pre-liberate Razir, which almost ended in the false imprisonment and loss of his riches. After his escape, Chen donated a significant portion of his fortune towards the establishment of Hero University in the hopes that other young adventurers would have the opportunity to be able to form their own memorable experiences. I hate the guys who just go out into a forest and saw their home carrying treasure and huge dead beasts. I want to be like them. Nothing behind the portrait. No magic. Can hardly be called a bookshelf. Mostly I see firewood. Couple books. The Primo Strategy Guides to Mumble Deep Peg and Declutter Your Kitchen One Firkin at a Time. A couple small lock boxes, but nothing in them but dead bugs. Lots of dried, tripled dead bugs. Maybe there was something tasty in these boxes at a time. Most of it looks like junk, candle holders, and an old pestle. A death mask. Somebody just so dusty I can't tell what they are. Ways of the Paladin. A paladin book. Alright. Dinner time in game. And then we'll get back to the sea cave. Well, not necessarily the sea cave, it's just like a hidden passage. Katie's still mad about her map. Food seems tasteless when everyone around me is unhappy. Sean, I have to speak to you about a misplaced map. You had something to do with the misplacing part. I wanted to tell you earlier after class, but she was so daunting in her anger. I overheard her speaking to you about the map. I mentioned it. Sorry. It was he who ordered me to borrow the map. I would never consider, consider such a horrid act myself. You can be the one to return the map and win back your favor. You can be the hero. Do you have the map now? No, he put it in his wardrobe. If you were to retrieve it from the room, I can tell Sasori it was not I who removed the map. I just happened to leave the door to our dorm open when I last left. You have no trouble getting into the room. You must do it while he's away. I will keep him distracted, so go now. Why do you let him order you around like that? He can't force you. He can be most persuasive. You do not understand how dangerous he is. I do not dare cross him, Sean. I am not nearly as courageous as you. If you're so concerned about upsetting him, why are you willing to help Katie? I don't see how your interference might reflect poorly upon me, so long as you don't mention my name during the map. Besides, I will have an alibi. I'll be with Cesare while you are taking the map. I'll see what I can do. Alright. This seems like not a good idea, but I want to get the map back, so I'm going to save. And then we're going to go break into their room. All right. Look at door. Scrap a piece a piece of paper wedged in the door. Listen at door. Nothing. Open door. It's in the wardrobe. This is where Joel said I could find the map. It doesn't appear to be locked. There's something about, odd about the lack and latch. Why would Sosie trap his own wardrobe? Disarm the trap. I don't understand what this is. What am I trying to figure out? They didn't tell me any information. I think I have to Google this. Like, I have no idea. Um, hero, you, disarm, trap. Think of it like a Wheel of Fortune. You're guessing letters trying to figure out what the hidden word is. If you hit red, it isn't 
a letter for the code. If the letter is yellow, it's right but in the wrong place. We're just playing Wordle. Alright, Rowney, what letter should I pick? Um... It's, it's literally Wordle. It's, it's Wordle. Like of letter word. Yeah. Um... Dream. I don't know. You were on D, so... Um, how do I put the letter in? Oh, okay. Oh, so that was right. Wait, there was already some black ones. Were they right or wrong? It didn't tell me. I'm back! I was cooking dinner. Well, I was walking and then I was cooking dinner. <laughs> Hi! Um... Okay, so D was right. What's another word that has D in it? Death. Death? Um... You were right! <laughs> I think. I think I'm doing this right. You got that on your first fucking try. I play a lot of world. <laughs> got it. Um, open the wardrobe. Look inside. There are a few of his favorite things. It's almost completely empty. Except for this treasure map, so he really was the one who stole the map from Katie. Oh no! They set me up. You stupid fool. Looks like you should have minded your own business and stayed out of mind. Tonight you'd be in the gutter where you belong. My office immediately. Good riddance. You're an absolute idiot. How could you be so stupid to get caught breaking into a fellow student's room? Do you want to get kicked out of school? Alice? Yeah, sure. Should I tell this guy the truth, or talk my way out of it, or answer starkly? Tell the truth. It was a setup. I was trying to recover something Celsi stole from a friend. You expect me to believe you were trying to be a hero? The only reason you aren't walking out of here right now is because your patrons don't think you can bring down Gahard. Do you have anything that will incriminate him? I have to get into his office, find incriminating evidence, but the door is trapped. I'm building up the skills to get there. I'll let you off this one time. Either Gerhard goes or you go. Get out of here. Well, I hate to save scum, but I just hate that man so much. Um. So I'm just not gonna get caught. I'm just not gonna do it. I refuse. Mainly, what I want to do is talk to Katie and then uh, explore that hallway and then probably stop with Hero Year for today because I've made progress. Katie? Hello? Leave the room. Horseradish mustard is just so damn good. What is my group chat saying? Alright, go in here. Open the door.
go in here, open the pack passage, not the package. What's on the shield? An old shield with a cross rusty sword behind it. Doesn't look nearly as dusty as the rest of the place. Someone's handled it recently. Not magical. It's firmly attached, but it does pivot. There's a keyhole. Hidden keyhole, meet my lockpick. Yeah, the easy does it. Okay, so now I can get into the sea caves. Look at the pile of dirt. Dust was... It looks like the dirt was swept into a pile and then covered up with an old cloth. Who would do that? Why was someone trying to keep this place clean? I mean, sort of. Crumbling mortar, dirt droppings. Some of it sifts down from the brick overhead. No way I'm touching that. No magic. Portrait of Ian Ice Shaper. That's Ewan McGregor. Looks like a wizard casting the spell. Ian Ice Shaper, hero of Eisenberg. Through his mastery of frost magic, he stopped the invasion of Jotnar from devastating Germania. Nothing behind the painting. This is the guy in the picture. I don't know who this is, and the inscription at the bottom looks like it was chipped away. If there's one thing I've learned in life, is sorcerers with tentacles are almost never the good guys. Can't move it, solid rock. Let's just leave each other alone, alright, maybe forever. Nothing magical. The plaques are Sir Sheraton Burgundy and Chinadi. Burgundy is the one wearing the hat. Looks like a wealthy guy holding his cat. Is he winking at me or falling asleep? Nothing behind it. No magic. He looks so familiar. Where have I seen this guy before? It's gonna annoy me until I think of it. Plaque is eroded. Sir Hans. Can't move it. It's not magical. What's under the sheets? Old furniture. Rats. An inscription, Brother Carlos Escobar, the thief of maidenhood. He was said to be the greatest lover of all time, and apparently he was so insanely charming, husbands used to offer their wives to him. Okay. No magic there. No rats. Suit of armor. Curious wall section. Concealed door. Definitely magic here. That prevents the fake wall from moving. The pages are yellow, it is covered with dust, and the ink has faded. It's hard to read, it looks like a list of names. Knight's Luminar. Sir Hans, Sir Jameis, Mortuai, Aquino, and Valania at the top of the page. Too obscured to see. Something familiar about Aquino. Uh, 